Jonathan, what is our fifth main topic today? This one comes from the Vinster. Hey, John and crew. Yesterday, I saw a report from CBR that Bilal Falah and Adil El Arbi, the directors of the scrapped Batman or Batgirl film, rather, have a meeting scheduled with James Gunn. What do you guys make of this? Could Batman, could I keep saying Batman, could Batgirl <laughs> still see the light of day? Or could Gunn possibly have a different project in mind for them? Love to hear y'all's thoughts. Thanks. All right, Vincer, thanks a lot for saying that in. And I, I think it's safe to say that the the biggest controversy in comic book movies recently, well, maybe it's not safe to say with Ezra out there, but <laughs> but one of the biggest controversies out there was Warner Brothers scrapping the Batgirl project, which from everything I hear might have been the biggest favor Warner Brothers could have done for this director duo <laughs> because from everything I have heard, both from other outlets and from people I know close to the source, the movie was a train wreck. And it could have really hurt their careers. It could have done a lot of damage. It could have hurt the DC brand, all that kind of stuff. So it got pulled. But you had these two directors who did a really good job with their Bad Boys movie. I, I had a lot, it was my, I'll tell you, job. their Bad Boys movie is my favorite Bad Boys movie. And the job they did on Ms. Marvel, stellar. Did a really, really good job on, on Ms. Marvel. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not going to have bad days at the office, and apparently it looks like Batgirl was their bad day at the office. Fine. But right from the beginning, when they announced that they were scrapping Batgirl, Warner Brothers said, hey, this has nothing to do with how we feel about the star. What was her name? Leslie um grace leslie grace yeah mm -hmm. leslie grace this has nothing to do with how talented we think leslie grace is we want to work with her again they even said we would love to work with these directors again but you can't think that would seriously happen well apparently maybe they will but it has nothing to do with background i'm sorry to anybody out there who is thinking that this meeting that has been set up between the directors and james gunn might indicate that Batgirl might see the light of the day it ain't but, but for some of you hopeless Batman Beyond oh, fans, boy. it could be very good news. This comes to us from the folks over at Screen Rant who write the fo following. <laughs> Falal and LRB were publicly devastated by Batgirl's cancellation by Warner Brothers, but the partners are still open to complete another film for DC Studios under one condition, that the movie is actually released. Although their future with DC Studios is not set, they are interested in reviving Batman Beyond and adapting the futuristic Dark Knight to the big screen. Developed by Bruce Timm, Paul Dini, and Alan Burnett for the WB Network in 1999, the animated series centered on Terry McGinnis, a teenager groomed by Bruce Wayne to replace him as the protector of Gotham. As Fala and LRB are scheduled to meet with James Gunn and with their eyes set on future DC projects to include Batman Beyond, the directors still could contribute to the DCU. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's get into this. Number one, nothing, nothing, nothing even remotely suggests this is about getting Batgirl released. I, that, that, unfortunately, for even if James Gunn wanted to do that, even though he is co-CEO of DC Studios, the reality is he cannot overrule his boss's decree. So that does not look like it's what's on the table. But, but, and it is really unfortunate that Chris isn't here today and that Rob's not here. I know, <laughs> man, come on. But if you are one of these people, one of these people, <laughs> what do you mean these people? <laughs> if you are... One of the fine folks. <laughs> if you are one of those people who've wanted a Batman Beyond film for all time, listen, this ain't saying that's going to happen, but it does bring up the possibility. It does bring that up. Now, listen, I have been for over 10 years, over 10 years, over before I started at AMC, when I was still doing the movie blog, I had people writing to me telling me, John, anytime now, they're going to do a Batman Beyond movie. And I said, no, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. And they wouldn't. One or two years would pass, and more people come out and say, John, they're about to do a Batman Beyond movie. I said, no, they're not. And sure enough, they did. Then a couple more years would pass. John, but, and it's been like that for 10 years. But then something happened. Then something happened. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse came out. 
a movie and a project that, like Batman Beyond, takes a character that is not traditionally identified with the main mantle, right? You had Miles Morales, not Peter Parker, a very different Spider-Man that most people didn't know about. And they made a movie with him. Granted, it was animated. It was animated. But they made a movie with him. And it was, in my opinion, the second best movie of the year. Not second best comic book movie of the year. It was the best comic book movie of the year. That was the same year that Black Panther and Avengers Infinity War came out. And I still, to this day, will tell you Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was the best comic book movie that year. And I thought, other than Black Klansman, I thought it was the best movie of the year. That said, with the success of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, I started saying, well, you know what? This could, look, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but this could open the door for those of you wanting a Batman Beyond. The success of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse could be a little bit of a flare into the air for Warner <laughs> Brothers to say, you know what? Maybe a Batman Beyond could work. And, and I've said every year since that, look, I'm still not anticipating that a Batman Beyond project is about to be made, but I do believe that every year that passes now, it becomes more and more possible. We want to thank the sponsor of today's video, True Classic. The holidays are here and there is plenty of t-shirt cheer thanks to our sponsor, True Classic Tees. Guys, we have the perfect gift for your wish list. True Classic Tees are a gift for you, for her, and a great present for any guy in your life. True Classic is on a mission to maximize men's confidence by making them look good. Get 25% off True Classic with my exclusive link, trueclassic.com slash campia, and the discount doesn't stop there. You'll save even more during their site-wide sale. Guys, like most of you, I have always struggled with finding the right shirts for me. Either they're not all that comfortable or they don't fit me all that right. Well, the best thing is, is that True Classics team has designed t-shirts to make guys of all sizes feel confident in their clothing. These shirts taper off towards the bottom, but they fit tighter around the chest and shoulders. This is the perfect look that can be achieved by every body type. And they offer other menswear as well, ranging from polos to workout shirts designed to keep your body feeling nice and comfy. So guys, get 25% off at trueclassic.com slash campia. Free shipping included on purchases over $100. That's 25% off at trueclassic.com slash campia. And more and more, maybe even likely. I still think it is more likely that they dip their toe in the waters with a Batman Beyond animated thing. I've been saying that for a couple of years. I still think it's more likely that they do a Batman Beyond animated thing, if anything at all. But this whole story about, you know, these guys meeting with James Gunn, it's not going to be about Batgirl but they do want to keep in the Bat family. Maybe they want to talk to him about Batman. And here's the other thing. Whereas I think nine out of 10 studio executives, even nine out of 10 possible DC studio executives would not want to go down the path of a, of an obscure unknown little cared about character like Batman beyond, <laughs> you know, who loves those kinds of characters. Yep. James Gunn loves those kinds of characters. This is the same dude who gave us Polka Dot Man. Mm -hmm. Who the hell in their right mind is giving us Polka Dot Man? James Gunn is. Who the hell is going to try to make a Peacemaker show? James Gunn will make a Peacemaker show. Now look, let me be very clear. I am not sitting here telling you they're going to do a Batman Beyond movie. I'm not. <laughs> you are. I am not telling you that they are going to do a Batman Beyond movie. But like I've been saying since Into the Spider-Verse came out, it is more possible today than ever before. And now you've got a guy who is the head of DC Studios who loves these kind of obscure characters and does not mind. Look, go all the way back to Guardians of the Galaxy. Who the hell knew anything about Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody knew anything about Guardians of the Galaxy. Going all the way back to his time at Marvel... James Gunn has proved that he absolutely loves and believes in these smaller, obscure characters that they can have big success. Hell, he did it with Guardians of the Galaxy. He absolutely did it with Peacemaker. Didn't have so much success doing that with Suicide Squad, but still there were, there were other circumstances surrounding that. And while I am not saying they're about to do Batman Beyond, <laughs> this is your shot. 
if you can't get a Batman Beyond movie made animated or otherwise with these two directors who Warner Brothers might feel they owe a little bit of a makeup, right? I, I, Warner Brothers didn't enjoy canceling Batgirl. They might feel that they owe these two guys a little bit of a makeup shot. With a head of DC Studios who is more open to doing these kinds of characters than any other studio executive, I would dare say, in the world, this is your shot. You don't get this done now. It ain't getting done. So while I am not saying they will do it, <laughs> I won't be surprised if in the next 12 months we don't hear that some kind of bat. This is coming from me that some kind of Batman Beyond project may get announced. Now, I still think it'll probably be animated, but a live action thing, I, James Gunn, he made Peacemaker live action. I, I know, Ray, what do you think? I always envisioned the Batman Beyond to be like sort of like their young answer to Iron Man. You know what I mean? Like uh, just from the tech that we saw uh, Robert Pattinson use in the Batman, just that, that contact lens. Imagine just a kid with all that around him. A, a, the, and a cool suit. I mean, they did Miss Marvel, right? They did some episodes of Miss Marvel. Yeah, they did. So they have that that charm they could add to it. What, a little kid trying to get through, you know, whatever he's dealing with, trying to take orders from older Bruce Wayne. It could be a completely different universe. I actually want it to be a completely different, a one-off by itself. Right. Um, I always thought that would be a cool thing to, it may not make money. I know it's all about the business. But it was just thought that idea was so cool to me to have like a a futuristic, uh, you know, with like a lot of tech, like that that sort of Batman in the hands of a young kid Let that may ask, not know what to do with it. Let me ask you guys this though: is is there not a danger? Because you know me, I'm kind of I'm kind of sick in the Marvel universe about everybody having to be Iron Man, like Spider Man. No, nah, he's not cool. Make him make him Iron Man Junior. Give him an Iron Man suit. The Dora Milaje. Now they're not cool enough. Give them Iron Man suits. I'm and I'm asking. This isn't a rhetorical question. I mean this honestly. And I, I ask the three of you guys: Is there a danger here, though, with the Batman Beyond that this is just going to be a Peter Parker getting an Iron Man suit? Is is this just going to be DC's Iron Man with Batman That's, Beyond? I kind of want that to be it because DC doesn't have that. I mean, we could be sick of all we want. I am too about everyone getting an Iron Man suit. They they have Iron Heart coming. Yeah. You yeah, know, Iron so, Heart on top of it. Yep. But these uh DC doesn't have that little that little thing that, you know, that We also got from... Blue Beetle coming. True. Right? right? So yeah, the scarab is is yeah, going to be true. a little I mean it's different. It's an alien thing. It's a little different, but it all depends on their reiteration. There's there's yeah. the inju there's not the injustice. Um I don't know Hot Toys did like a Batman like that Batman Beyond right there. It could be like that, an older one. Oh I don't yeah, know. the one that's on the Great. desk right there. Yeah, I I don't know. It all depends, but I I do think a Batman Beyond movie will work for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? It, it doesn't look like there's any possibility this is about reviving Batgirl. I think that ship has sailed, but I mean, it could mean a lot of different things. And by the way, it, it could be any other number of DC projects that James Gunn might be hot on and might want to give these guys a direct. Maybe it's Batman Beyond, maybe it's not. Who knows? I think, listen, if it's ever going to happen, this is your shot. This is now or never. Take your shot. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Do you think there could be a Batman Beyond project in the future? If so, do you think it would lean towards animation, maybe live action? Do you think there might be a danger of it just kind of looking like an Iron Man knockoff? Whatever you guys think, Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.